Hi everyone, it's Rao Khan and you're watching another movie of the week and the movie of this week is Before Sunset from 2004 so if you haven't watched it, watch it now. If you're new here to movie of the week, I do is I talk about a movie every week. I comment, you guys comment your thoughts at the end of every video. I see the movie for next week but in 2024 we're doing recaps and franchises and everything. So we're doing the Before trilogy and so last week's was Before Sunrise. So if you haven't watched that movie or watched that video, do that first before this one. Hopefully you have watched Before Sunset. So <laughs> Before Sunset, it kind of starts, he's now in France. So Before Sunrise was, oh my god, I'm gonna get them confused. Before Sunrise is in Vienna, now they're in Paris, France. And he's on his books tour and he wrote about that experience that we obviously saw in the first movie. And it's something where it's like, that's kind of cliche where like someone writes about it. But I don't know, this is like early 2000s. So like maybe back then it wasn't too cliche. Like nowadays it's cliche. But I feel like in the end it makes sense. And so like that what's brought them together and you like that moment when he like sees her is like, uh. And so then it's just like, it's kind of, they, there's Ethan and, and Juliet are so like oh, perfect with their acting, you know, they can, with all the emotion of like finally seeing each other but it's also like awkward and she's like do you want to go to a cafe like <laughs> in her French accent so it's something that we and it's like he so this is crazy because then before sunrise he had to make a flight right and so before sunset he also has to make a flight and but this one is like more time sensitive it's like later that day and so that's the thing with before sunrise it was like they had the entire day and so you didn't see like every single moment but before sunrise it feels like the time from when he saw her to like at the end which we'll talk about like it was like that was the full time it was like I don't know the exact word for it but it's like the movie and time was the same like it wasn't like oh we went away and then like it's like another scene later like we should, were able to see them for the entire time it was like an hour and 20 minutes and that's like when he was supposed to leave for his flight so it's like this one's way more time sensitive and so I think it makes sense like I have to say I don't think it made sense in the first movie to have seen the entire thing because how would we see the entire day you know it's like but this one I think because it had that time sensitive moment where it's like then I think it made sense to have it where it goes in that scene so we learn that they didn't make up after six months uh and because her grandma died and the funeral was that day and so he actually went but he couldn't see her and so they were talking about like fate like what if happened if like the grandma died a week before or like whatever and so like it's those things that you always think about but then they were also saying like what if we saw each other and then it didn't work out like you never know and so like it's sometimes where it's like where does fate leave you and like fate led them to each other again like nine years later um and so they're just kind of it's like they're talking and catching up and they're flirting with each other and then you learn all like down like you learn like halfway through the movie that he's like married and have a kid has a kid and you kind of learn that she's in a relationship but she's in a relationship with a guy who's like never around and he is unhappy in his marriage and so it's kind of this thing where they had like he like had to go down two different well they had to go down two different paths and their lives went down two different paths and it's like that just kind of happened but then it's also like they were living in new york around the same time but like fate didn't leave them together then fate leave them together now and so it's just like it it was just like makes sense i guess as a sequel this movie like of them coming back together but like it wouldn't make sense like six months later like i don't that's the same thing i i think i talked about in my video before about like how when did they know there was going to be a second movie like everything and so i'm sure like if they maybe it was like when they got the green light that like maybe if they got the green light like two years or later then it would be like oh seven years passed or something but it was just like when they got the green light like i don't know or if they were always planning nine years or if like it just and they wanted obviously the second movie should be like the next time they're together like it just like makes sense technically in this one and then the third movie is not exactly like that but <laughs> it makes sense in this one that it is when they see each other again and so it was also like a time sensitive thing be you know he's supposed to make this flight and so it's kind of a thing where he didn't you know he kept being like you know i'll have the drivers meet us here let's get on this boat 
and then he was like let's let's you know we'll bring you to your house and he's like I want to walk I gotta see. and he just like didn't want to let her go and it was kind of the same thing with the movie before where he didn't want to let her go and then he like you know they let each other go in this one he was just like couldn't after nine years couldn't let it go but it's kind of crazy that like he wrote a whole book about her and like that one day they were together he remembers every detail and he's always thinking about her and that's how you know it's true love and you know it's like that you meet someone you have this special connection and you lose them but if you're if it's meant to be like you'll come back together and so it has that element and so at the end, like, it's kind of like, you know, they, they're such, Julie and Ethan are such great actors, or it, it feels so weird, real, where they, like, kind of know towards the end, like, he's not gonna make his life, but they don't want to say it, and then finally she says at the end, like, you're not gonna make your life, or, and he's like, I know, and it's something where he's like, I can't, like, I need to, you know, be with her, and it kind of ends, you know, they don't kiss at all in this movie, um, which it's like it kind of has the same kind of ending in the f like the first movie where it's like you don't really know like will they be together what happens in this one you like nobody misses this flight but like what happens next you're you know you're still wanting more and so anyway but it's another movie where people are just like talking and, and so it's so great that like over time you like, hear more elements about their lives and like you know how much has changed about each person after nine years and so this is another element is that like in the first movie he had like no money he like they like he kind of like stole wine I wonder if he always like sent back money for the wine but it's crazy because this one he's all this one he's like let me pay let me pay like blah 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 so it's just it's so crazy to like see the differences about who like how they grown over time of nine years because of course you're gonna grow over nine years and I think it's kind of interesting that it is nine years because I read somewhere that like something with your cells after nine years or whatever or new and something but it's crazy that like they still can connect so strongly and like the same way after nine years but it's it was such a good sequel and it's such a great movie and it's something where it's like did they need to do a third movie but then a trilogy is three movies and so in the way third movie makes sense and we're going to talk about the third movie when we do that video and so the third movie obviously is before midnight from 2013 so anyway you know comment your thoughts below about before sunrise before sunset and then watch before midnight for next week thank you guys for watching like come subscribe and bye